gentlemen, listen up. And ladies, listen up too. You probably have a guy in your life who needs to hear this, and this can be a benefit to you too. I want to talk to you about being stuck and how do we break out of being stuck and take this, these ideas, these dreams that we have that we want of our life and bring them into physical reality. That's kind of what our theme is this month is how do I create physically this world that I want in my life? But we get stuck and it's okay to be stuck. It, we all get stuck. The brightest and best of us get stuck. What's not okay is staying stuck. And I was thinking about this this morning as, as I was running and I turned on to one of my favorite podcasts by a guy named Darren Hardy, a success mentor, and he was talking about being stuck. And he he related that there are eight signs or causes of being stuck. And I want to share those with you so that you might be able to recognize that for yourself. See if any of these relate to you. Number one, one the first sign or cause of being stuck is we surrender to our fate. We, we accept that you know, life is what it is. It's what I've been dealt with in life. I am who I am. Nothing's ever going to change. It's just not meant for me. That's my fate. We surrender. Number two, we get dulled by routine. We get up in the morning. We get on the hamster wheel. We run and we run and we run all day long. And then we come home, we get off the hamster wheel and we haven't gone anywhere. Number three, we retreat to comfort. You know, we want to do something different. We think there might be something better, but it just looks too hard, too much effort. I'm not ready yet. And so we retreat to com our cocoon of comfort, which is going to become our coffin. And it's just mediocrity is all it is. Number four, we take life and opportunities for granted. We assume that life is going to hand us the opportunities that we want and that it'll be there or that the opportunities that, that we want will be there tomorrow and we don't seize them when they're there and they move on to someone else and we're left without being able to have that opportunity. Number five, we make excuses. Excuses, excuses. We may think we have legitimate reasons for not doing something or why we can't do something, but th at the end, they're all excuses. Oh, I just don't have enough time. I don't have enough money. I don't know how. People, we live in the information age where all the information we need is right at our fingertips. Number six, ego. You know, we've created this image of ourselves, of, of this person that we are, that everyone else sees. And if we were to take a risk, if we were to do something different and go out and maybe even fail, oh my gosh, our ego couldn't handle that because then people would see that, oh, he really doesn't have it put together the way we thought he did. And our ego is just too fragile. And so we let our egos keep us stuck. Number seven, we stay stuck in the past. I think the epitome of this is Uncle Rico from Napoleon Dynamite. You know, it's like, man, if only the coach had put me in the football game in the fourth quarter, I'd have thrown that touchdown pass and we'd have taken state and I'd have gone on to the NFL and I'd be making a million dollars right now. We stay stuck in the past and we don't move forward. And number eight is our lack of self-care. You know, we, we give the ladies sometimes a bad time for not taking care of themselves. I think they actually do a lot better job at it than we do in spite of it. And we don't take care of ourselves physically or mentally or emotionally or spiritually and we're failing to have the energy and the resources and the ability to do the things that we want to do to create the life we want. Do any of those eight things resonate with you? Do you feel like you're stuck? Do you feel like you're making excuses or protecting your ego or retreating into comfort and mediocrity or just have surrendered and accepted your life as it is? If so, it's possible to make a choice to be unstuck. It's like I say, it's okay to get stuck. We all do. It's not okay to stay stuck. And I'm here to tell you that it's possible to be unstuck. You know, seven years ago, I had, I had built, you know, the previous 10, 15 years, tried to build my life, build my career and my family the way I wanted to be, to build something important and good. And seven years ago, I wake up one morning and my wife left. My children were, had a, we had a terrible relationship my career was dead end. I ended up changing careers. I ended up going through bankruptcy. I was 50 pounds overweight at one point. Everything was just a mess. I had a life that I never intended to create and I was stuck. And nearly every single one of these items on this list was running through my head. I was stuck in so many different ways. And I spent the last seven years 
devoting myself, basically making a career out of learning how to be unstuck, how to break through. And so over the next couple of days, I want to help you recognize, one, that you can become unstuck. There are some specific, simple things that you can do to break out of this routine, to break out of the mediocrity, to break out of the fate that life has handed you and create the dreams and the ideas that are in your head and create the life that you want and that you deserve. And so I want to share those with you over the next couple of days. So keep tuning in, join in tomorrow and the next day, and I'll share with you a couple of things of how you can create the life that you want. And join us here at the Battalion of Brothers, a group of guys who feel the same way, who want to improve and change the life and become the men and the leaders and the fathers that we want to be and that we were intended to be. And you can join us here in that discussion and become part of our masterminds and our groups and our trainings to help us, to help you become that man.